There's many, many international companies. How many companies are truly a global company? That's, there's a big difference. And, um, you know, it was a challenge for Topcon. When I entered Topcon in 1993, 100% of all development and manufacturing came out of Tokyo. And the position in business of Topcon today, over 50% of that is now done by TPS. And TPS has development in Russia, huge uh, engineering arm in Russia, here in California, in Columbus, Ohio, in uh, Italy, in several locations, in Australia, in three locations, um, and uh, where else does TPS have uh, development? Uh, a little bit in uh, Northern Europe, and uh, so you, you can see the diversity of the development team that we have uh, on a global basis. Uh, and then all our optical and laser products are done in Japan. So we, we've had a big challenge of integrating all those cultures and all those opinions about how uh, you need to develop or what the products need to be. Um, but, you know, it, it, at the end of the day, it comes down to the people that are managing uh, those groups that are able to communicate across those uh, borders. And I think we've built a great management team that is very... Uh, uh, conducive to uh, working on a global basis and have the respect of the capability of the engineers in those different disciplines around the globe. And we've done it uh, quite well.